Hello, my name is Tanya and I wanted to share with you my social anxiety experience slash story. For those who experience it, for those who are curious about it, to add one more person to the voices of the people already on YouTube or wherever else people talk about it. But I wanted to share what I could remember about it and when and how and how long and just all the details I suppose. Um, let's see, I am 20 and I've had social anxiety disorder since I was about 13, I'm, a th I think, I'm pretty sure 13 is about when it started, and I had it mildly before then, but not, not terribly, just it kind of started to slowly increase a little bit and so on. But um, it was probably at its worst mm, during middle school, probably because those were the times of the worst experiences that kind of fueled the fire for any nervousness or anxiety I was already feeling. And also, um, I wanted to explain something. Um, social anxiety disorder is kind of a disputed disorder because it's so common in some ways and some people don't consider it a dis disorder which is retarded excuse me um, but I am bothered by this because disorders like that come in many in many types of sizes and how bad it is depends on each person because Social anxiety disorder often causes panic attacks, but that's something a symptom I do not have. But where you can di differentiate social anxiety disorder from just being shy or wanting attention is when it actually affects your daily life every day and makes you uncomfortable and makes you unhappy or makes it not fun to go outside or not fun to have a social life. That's when it starts to get there. And if it's not just like sometimes in certain situations, but in almost all social situations, is when you can start wondering if you have something you need to work on, if you have something that you'll need help working on to fix, or not fix, or at least to live with. So, um, I do have social anxiety disorder, I consider, but that is a teach its own. Um, so I've had it since then, and uh, it's hard for me to say the things that it affects because it's been so long of it affecting me that I feel like I can't tell what's normal and what's not normal because throughout my preteen to teen to adult life, semi-adult, um, I've experienced it all throughout it. So maybe some of the things I say some people without a disorder will feel too but that'll be interesting for me. Um, let's see. When I go outside, I if I walk down the street, if someone is about a block away walking down the street on the same side of the sidewalk, I start anticipating it and getting nervous. And I start walking and I start thinking about how I walk. I start thinking about my steps and how am I going to get past them. And are they going to look me in the eye and am I going to have to say hello? Should I say hello or should I not say hello? And when I go out in my neighborhood, I'm scared of recognizing people. Even if they're my closest friends, I really don't want to run into someone I know because I'm scared of what they want me to say, how long I should stay and talk to them, and so on. I really hate um, pain for things, usually. Sometimes I don't mind, but if it's a place I've never been to, I hate pain for things. and. Um, but once I've done it three or four times, I feel all right about it. But most of the time, I'd rather not. And I don't like ever meeting up with my friends. I don't want to most of the time because it, it feels so uncomfortable. And especially if there's nothing to do. If I were to bring my friend to my house, I would freak for quite a while and be really uncomfortable. I would sweat. I would stutter. I would be embarrassed and feel bad because I wouldn't know what I should do with them. And, But if we go to a movie, I won't be half bad. If we're eating dinner or if um, we're in a cafe, I'll be 
okay, uh, I can survive, which is better than before, actually. That's currently. Currently, I can meet with people as long as we're doing something. And sometimes in the past, it was all right, but they usually had to convince me to do it first. And I hate going to parties. I like things like birthday parties sometimes because they're all planned out, so I don't have to do any thinking or worrying, and I just kind of follow what, what they have planned. But if it's just a social event with no plan, I don't like it and I avoid it at all costs. And if people invite me out, I avoid it at all costs and so on. Um, I actually, I feel like I have an extremely enhanced sense of etiquette because I'm always nervous about offending someone or upsetting someone or inconveniencing them and creating things to go slower for them. Like, I would feel awful and embarrassed if anything I did slowed down a line, like a line if you're in line for something. If a question I had slowed down for more than 10 seconds, I would start getting nervous and embarrassed and trying to get out of there. Even if it was a good question, I would st try and stop because I would not want to bother the people behind me. And, um, I get nervous when I'm entering a, a bus because I don't want to seem rude cutting in front of people, but I also want to get a good seat. And so I get nervous as the bus approaches, and I get and I obsessively check my pockets over and over. I just keep checking and checking like my pockets of, it, to see if I have my bus pass and to see if I have the proper amount of change. I count it four times to make sure the quarters didn't fall out of my pocket, to make sure I can find them quickly, and then eventually I give up and start holding them in my hands and just clutching onto them in case the wind blows, like if I have cash, in case the wind blows it away, just so nothing can go wrong and nothing can create that anxiety. And. Um, well, let's see, if, if I'm late, that's a hell of a experience. I'm very embarrassed about being late to a class or anything where people are already there. I don't like entering a room that I haven't been in before, like a classroom, for the first time unless other people are there who know for sure it's the right one. And, um... When I'm making a video, I start sweating, my hands are all sweaty, and blushing a little bit, turning red, but it seems like the more I think about certain things like anxiety, the more embarrassed and nervous I get, which isn't fun, but other than that, I've improved a little bit. When I was 15, I tried medication because what was ironic about this is I didn't know the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist, but I wanted to go to a psychologist. But my mom didn't know the difference either, so we went to a psychiatrist who prescribes medicine, I believe, and so I just tried three medications trying to find the right one, which wasn't really my intention because I wanted counseling. But now I don't have insurance, so I can't really try that. But when I, So I did that for... I don't know, like six months to a year, I tried medications, and none of them really worked. But I remember I was so sick of it that I went off of one, and I was a nervous wreck. Nervous wreck for school, it was high school. I was in a huge nervous wreck, I was shaking, I couldn't sleep. I My butterflies in my stomach, I was so nervous. And that was basically an intensified reaction to not having medication, but it didn't really actually make any improvement being on it unfortunately. Um.